Welcome to Founders Club, the show for real estate entrepreneurs. The part about gentrification is a, it, it's a shitty word. It is a it, shitty it, word. It, 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 uh, it sounds too cutthroat, you know, and I probably should have been more, because I don't, I don't know, if, when did you get this, when did you get that? Has that been changed? I don't know, so let me, let me read you the hater comment and okay. then. Because, well, actually, because, before, you, before you read that hater comment, I just gotta give it context. Okay. I didn't realize when I started the company that gentrification had such a negative uh, view. I just thought it was an area turning around. Yeah. And that's a case of, of not having enough information and just putting it out there. I think that's actually been changed. And, and I think the big thing was there are so many people doing bad business and it being associated with what gentrification is mm -hmm. that I don't like how that makes our company sound because right. I think that I, I don't believe in a lot of the people that are doing business the wrong way. And I think it does. The word rubs people the wrong way, which I can well, understand. Well, because it sounds, sounds I, like you're ripping people out of their homes. I right. totally understand that and, and, and sympathize for it because Thank it's... You. It's uh cheers. Cheers. <laughs> but say the comments. <laughs> All right. The hater comment. And it is strictly basically related around the gentrification yeah, term, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. With no regard for the classist and racist connotations of using the word gentrification in a positive light in an investor pitch no less or what the value value add strategy might spell for local residents trying to re survive a devastating rent surge. Mikey's short-sightedness did not even consider how his business might affect his own well community. So that was an article, that was a full article. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, it's funny, man. Sometimes people say things and it, it affects you. That was one that hit me and I probably spent more time evaluating what I was doing beyond the normal hater, mm -hmm. which actually sometimes is healthy. And yeah. I think for us, like I had to get to a point of going, am I doing this for the right cause? And ultimately, does he have a different view of what we're actually doing? And did I make an error on communicating it mm -hmm. the wrong way? Mm -hmm. And I believe I did. Yeah. And, and, and why we've changed change the language to hopefully fit what we're actually doing. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. Dude, gentrification could be so many different things. Like a big component of what we do is repurposing, right? So we have a project right now where we bought a foreclosed Sears building, right? It was a dark Sears building, completely dark. And it was attached to a mall that is on the verge of going dark. Mm. And so, so you can consider us buying a Sears building and scraping it, which is our plan and building a mixed use community of retail and parks and living, you can, you, that is considered gentrification, right? Right. But we have a dark building that was once a staple for the community that is now an eyesore yeah. of, of, of misery in a sense. And we're creating new life out of it where right. you could argue that no one is losing a, a home or, so there's ways to do it in which are good but God, I, I, I'm gonna agree with him in the sense of when you say gentrification it has a negative viewpoint to That's, it. That's an interesting response because I, when I read it, I was like, I see his point, but I thought it was a little unfair, right? I, like, I agree with you. You know what, actually, this, this could actually benefit a lot of people because this hugely benefited me. When you hear criticism, you need to, you need to understand that a lot of times they're saying it through their experience mm -hmm. and not yours, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So when I first listened to this guy, immediately it took me to defense mode. No, I'm not. Well, that's not why I'm doing this. It's not right. how we do business, yeah. right? It's harsh. And then the second time I read it, once I calmed down, I tried to read it through his perspective. I don't know what his experience was like. Mm -hmm. He might have lived in a house and was barely scraping by. And somebody might have came in and raised his rents to a point that he had yep. to leave. And his experience could have been very painful. 100%. And that's being portrayed on me as right. I being the one who's doing it to him, right? That doesn't mean that. That means he might have had a bad experience and I'm just the one he's taking it out yeah. on. And I think viewing it as that has allowed myself to not take things so personal and being kind of stuck in this trap of battling with a guy that doesn't help me build my yeah. vision or my purpose. 
Uh, I love that. That's a you got. That's a very mature answer. I like. It, 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 look, it, I have had a lot of experience of doing it the wrong way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, dude, be on social media. You know this. It's like you have people attacking you always, of right? Course. If you're going to succeed at it, you got to get to a point where, what the the words that people are using towards you don't cripple you from what you're trying to accomplish. And that was like a powerful one for me. And and I think one of the biggest things with real estate investors is yeah, there's some unscrupulous people out there totally. that are doing things the wrong way yeah. up to no good. But in reality, like when you go into an area that needs love, yeah. right? A neighborhood and yeah. you go in there and you turn around a building and you add video cameras to make it safer, yeah. add lighting to That's make right. it safer, yeah. you know, fix the building, yeah. you know, kick out any drug dealers and any people that shouldn't be there so it's a safe. Yeah. Then like really you're doing a lot of good for the community and if you're able to make money in the process, it's I mean, all in the perspective win -win. in what you look through it, right? right? It's like, and, and dude, there's like, dude, we do deep, deep value add projects, right? right? We find buildings that are dead or incredibly run down. Yeah. So it's like, you know, somebody might say, oh yeah, dude, like you're kicking people out of their home. Like, dude, that, no, that is not what we're doing. Like mm -hmm. we have like a cockroach infested, yeah. crackhead, right. of, like a trap house. Dude, we're, we're, <laughs> we're creating like actual, like right. we're creating an area for people to actually use. Like, yeah. but I, 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 there is a part of me that understands it. It's like, I know there's, look, there's a responsibility in it for us to do things the right way. And there's going to be people that do it the wrong way, but that's everything. That's yeah. beyond real estate. It's, it's, it's life. You know, I mean, look at like the police. There's right. bad cops, there's good cops. Total you can't just example. say all cops are out right. killing. It, you can't say that, right. it's not true. Yeah, it's not, yeah. But that's the message that goes on. It's, that's and very... that also is the message coming from certain people's experience, back to your point about exactly how right. they're viewing so, it. So dude, through your experience, that's absolutely true, mm -hmm. right? You just have to recognize that we all have different filters, yeah. you know, or lenses, whatever you want to call it. So what sort of an projects are you looking for now? Is it mainly multifamily apartments and storage units or what? Um, what's kind of the bread and butter for your vision? Okay. <laughs> it's funny. There's, there's, uh, I would say for the vision of what I'm trying to accomplish for our investors, um, right now it's multifamily and storage. I think those are the, just the two components that we, mm -hmm. Uh, the asset classes that we drive forward at. I think like the thing about multifamily that I really like, like, like dude, like for anybody who's in storage, they know for anybody who's not, uh, storage units are like a great asset class. They cash flow like crazy. Right. They're stable. They're, they're, they're pretty awesome from an investment standpoint from a creative who came from skate and Apartment buildings are a little easier. It's not much you can do to, with a storage unit. Yeah. So like, I, you know, I do like the apartment side because you are building a community that people are actually living and a part of. So there is a part of that asset class that I think lends towards my, uh, skills, not the right word. Uh, it's more, I don't know, enjoyable well, you can, in a sense. Yeah, and you can beautify it. Like it's, totally, it's, it's, it is a piece of with, art. You can contend with culture in an apartment building where totally. I, I, I don't want to say you can't storage. I just haven't figured out how to, right. yeah. you know, but storage has been good. Um, so I would say that's where we focus. To listen to this full Founders Club interview, go to foundersclub.tv.